welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to see how we can create a azure function which will trigger based on azure storage queue so for this demo we are into azure portal and inside our resource group called surface demo where we have already a storage account and if we go inside queue section we do not have any queue right now so i'm going to create a queue which will be used when we will create function app or queue based trigger let me put a name and then i will create this so this is our queue right now uh, we will put some messages here and then we will see that our function app is being triggered or not so let me go ahead and create a function app quickly let's search as a function app let's click on create let's put up name we will use runtime stack at dot net let's go next so it will create default storage account we can use any existing on also so let me go ahead with next next all the details review and click create now function app has been created let's go to resource now inside resource let's go to functions right now there is no function now let's create from here and we can use that uh, template provided azure queue storage triggered so let's go for that and let's say that new function name will be our software queue trigger and our queue name is this one and the storage connection uh, we can use any one and we can put the new like soft page account connection which one we want to use so our blob is there right uh, we just see that this is our blob where we have created our queue so let's use that and then we will create this now this function app is running let's go to monitor tab let's go to log it is going to connect to app inside it is connected now let me put one message inside this queue this is message let's go ahead and see that if it triggers based on message we put into queue message went from here but there is nothing came here let's see invocation invocation is going to come into some time so let's go for code and see what code it generated so it should print this queue item let me go ahead and do one more time this says 202 accepted it prints here simple queue message let me see which setting we have given inside configuration so this is our account key blob which is our queue name let's see that soft with q so this is the q in invocation we can see three so it is running and we can see that it new q message detected on soft with q and printed the test message which we given it should come into log also uh, because we have given the log one in code so let me see quickly so this log should come into information section and we can go ahead and see that uh, this details from function json so let me do one more time add one more time a message in this queue i will this time log label is verbose so so now it went from there so here it is coming but it is failing failed for some reason because it, it might not be able to parse that one let me do one more time because i removed that in code the message into test body so let me 
put that and let's wait here now it will take some time so now we can see that here this message came test message we can try multiple time test message one two three four five and let's go more time here here also test message one two three four five so this is how this uh, works and we can go ahead in visual studio and if you want to create from visual studio and do everything because uh, we are not going to use portal every time to create function app and code also so you can go ahead and give the proper name and the select which type of function it will be there and there you can choose the tutorial type and then we can create that function app and rest we can deploy from visual studio or azure devops and any other github whatever you want to do this is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you Thank mm -hmm. you.